think that the learned solicitor has raised, Malo, is important. I'm not saying it's not important. The questions that have been framed are also important because they would have a bearing ultimately on something to be decided in this case affecting the Sahedna judgment. There's no doubt about it. It would be so. But the point only is, Malod, today you have, you have a petition of 1986. It in a particular the state, which is now redundant because the state was to support the act, but the act is repealed, and a private individual. Now, Malod, a tenor of decisions have said that such a writ petition is not maintainable at all. Now, whether you decide it now, you decide it later, you decide it after nine judges, but at some point of time, that decision will have to be done in a pending matter, because that is the only matter before you, containing a whole bundle of facts, a whole set of denials, a lot of affidavits, which I'm not bothering you with. Therefore, my Lord, the question certainly can be referred, but nothing survives today in this petition, and that's for your consideration. Because, although the act is repealed, the question of my right to excommunicate and the challenge to that survives does not enable the present rate petitioner to move under 32. That's, that's for your lordship consideration. There are judgments of your lordship specifically saying between private parties there cannot be an enforcement of the rate. Now, that's one of the considerations, whether you take it up now, whether you take, I'm not even not at the moment trying to uh, short circuit anything, but take it up now, take it up later, but that question does arise, and it will arise later. And there is, there is one solution to this, perhaps, following what the solicitor says, Namely, in the Sabrimala case, it was contended by, before one of the dissenting judges, Justice Chandrachur, just as Mr. Nariman dissented, Justice Chandrachur also dissented, and the justice, uh, the, that the Sayedna case should also be deferred, and his lordship said, if your lordship turns to the, the Sabrimala judgment, in page 180, para 272, 2019, 11 SCC. If you've got it with you, my lord. Para 272, you are mentioning? I'm obliged, my lord, at 180. This is the the other descent of uh, Honorable Justice Chandra. And this, the lordship lord, after discussing it at the bottom, just before 273. This is concurring. In Saifuddin. In he calls it Saifuddin, it's the Sayedna case. It's presently pending consideration before a larger bench. That is your lordship. Because this comes subsequent to the five judge bench judgment, which said that if you are convinced that the law laid down is wrong, then you refer it to Silva. Loud judgment. Lord, quite frankly, this was all considered by the judges. It's not as if it's only the, it happens to be the other dissenting judge refers to it. But uh, in, in this opinion, Mr. Nariman, uh, Justice Chanakir's view was the... Yeah, you view. was uh, just, uh, just same as Justice Nariman. It was, the, it was the majority view. In this one, it's the majority view. Yes, 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 it was the majority view. Same as Justice Nariman and same as Justice... Chief Justice Deepak Mishra. Concurring uh, majority. This is the concurring yes. majority view, four is to one which went. Four is Absolutely one. correct. It's only uh, Honorable Justice Indu Malhotra who took the dissenting view, which ultimately Justice Gogoi Malhotra thought was a correct view, and ultimately uh, all those questions are yes. So there is no doubt these questions, that, that the questions as framed by the nine judge bench, I can't get away from it. It, it requires to be considered. And it will possibly be considered in God's good, good time. But, uh, but today, my Lord, we, what are we, we are faced with this problem. There's no question of referring anything. Your so I, 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 uh, I would uh, 
we would like to have your response to uh, a view canvas that uh, uh, since that uh, nine judges judgment is awaited instead yeah. of awaiting that if on this practice of excommunication a question is framed and also referred the parties will have the opportunity to assist the nine judges bench in respect of this particular nuance of the larger generic questions framed as the first two questions I don't think that would be a proper way of doing it, if your lordship don't mind. I'm, no, no, so. I'm, I'm seeking your uh, assistance and opinion as to what you feel about Yes, I'm very much obliged. No, you know, this matter comes because of Justice Lauti's judgment. Yes. Because in, in Sabri Mala, this was contended. <coughs> and Justice Chandra should say, no, no, this is now before and five judge bench, let them decide whatever they want to do. And your lordships are now deciding whether what to do? And my suggestion, my Lord, following the suggestion I made, which I, I consider my Lord, quite reasonable of the solicitor, apart from the list, etc., that just let this my Lord, stand over till the decision in the nine judge bench, because all those questions, this question has to arise. There's no question of now framing another question and referring it again. Because that occasion 